Hi, good morning. that Unima students can do internet via research. Okay, uh, usually for our science students, we encourage them to use journals which are online and we are lucky that in Unimas, they are subscribed to a few online journals. Um, so if you were to go to the Unimas library website, so we call our library guys, um, you have the web opac, so you can search for books and journals. There's also an icon for uh, e-journals which are available, e-books, and the online database. <coughs> so for the online database, if you click to the online database, right, you will see that we have many journals at the online database. Right, a very popular one for our science students is uh, something we call Scopus. So these are uh, different search engines which are provided by the different publishers. So Scopus, for example, is provided by the publisher called Elsevier. So if you click into Scopus, you will come to the Scopus website. So for example, in the Scopus website, if I was to search for something, for example, on coral bleaching, I would type coral bleaching here. And, um, and then I can search. And in Scopus, we found 1,247 hits on coral bleaching. And you will have a list of the latest journals. You could also have done this with Google Scholar. And in Google Scholar, you type in coral bleaching and you will get your hits. And in Google Scholar, there are nine, over 19,000 different hits. So what's the difference with trying to use a search engine such as Scopus compared to Google Scholar? Google Scholar has um, a lot of free available journals. Um, where else for Scopus, you have to be a subscribed customer. And in Scopus, there are peer-reviewed journals which are given uh, for free to subscribers. So if you were in the internet server, you can use Scopus for free. In the Google Scholar one, um, as usual with all free things, you don't know whether you can trust the authenticity of the journal that you find. Okay, so back to Scopus. So a good way to find out which are the popular um, papers is to click on here, citations, as you see here, citations. So you go to sort by citations and you wait for the page to load and you will find that the papers have been sorted out according to the ones with a lot of citations, right? So for example, this paper for climate change, coral bleaching and the future of the world's coral reefs have um, over 900 citations. So it shows that this is a popular um, paper. So you can either um, from here, download this paper. So if you click this, uh, you will have the paper. You can download the PDF here, right? And you can also see um, all the different uh, related articles which have uh, been downloaded or cited before, other related documents. And if you wanted to find out more about uh, the author, so if you know that this author is a prolific writer, you can click on the author and find other popular papers which have been done by the author. So he has 166 documents and you can go into that and download others. Um, right. So besides Scopus, right, under the umbrella of Scopus, there are other websites under their Scienceverse hub, which is provided by Elsevier. Such as Science Direct. Okay, such as in Science Direct. And in Science Direct, you can choose something special such as um, images as well. So not just articles, uh, e-journals, but also images. So you can click images and click coral bleaching, right? And you can search Science Direct. And
um, images, for example, they have found 551 images for coral bleaching. So these will be the different images which you might be interested in, which can be found in journals. So these journals are peer-reviewed journals, which is very different from if you were to get um, images from Google Images, which are not necessarily peer-reviewed. So all these are also downloadable, and you can even relate them to the article which you might want to download as well. Yeah. Okay, so we are very lucky that in Unimas, um, I think in the whole state of Sarawak, our Kais library has one of the best online resources available, uh, and our students are very fortunate that all of this is available for free. Okay, thanks very much.